ओम शांति टुडे इज सतगुरुवार द थर्टींथ ऑफ अप्रैल 2023 ऑन दिस थर्सडे मॉर्निंग लेट अस लिसन टू द साकार मुरली फ्रॉम आवर बिलवेड बाप दादा बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एक्सचेंज इम्पेरिशेबल ज्वेल्स ऑफ नॉलेज अमंग योर सेल्व्स एंड सस्टेन वन अनदर continue to donate the jewels of knowledge let's hear what baba says in essence on this thursday morning once again baba says sweet children exchange imperishable jewels of knowledge among yourselves and sustain one another continue to donate the jewels of knowledge today's question what effort should you make to keep yourselves in limitless happiness in answer Baba says in order to remain happy churn the ocean of knowledge learn to talk to yourselves if there is any suffering of karma then in order to remain cheerful remember that your bodies are old shoes that you are becoming those who will have bodies free from disease for 21 births and that your suffering of karma is being settled for birth after birth when an illness or calamity finishes then you are happy think in this way and stay happy today's song is mother o oh mother you are the bestower of fortune for the world om shanti this is the praise of the mothers salutations to the mothers o oh mother you sustain everyone from shiv baba's treasure store which type of sustenance you sustain everyone with the imperishable jewels of knowledge this means that you are being given sustenance from the urn of the nectar of knowledge you are receiving the treasures of the imperishable jewels of knowledge from shiv baba's treasure store in fact there is only praise of shiv baba he is karan karavan har the mother is jagadamba the world mother there must be other mothers too this praise belongs to the mothers which is this praise the song of today which was mother o mother you are the bestower of fortune for the world so baba says this praise belongs to the mothers the mother looks after us very well those who live in shiv baba's yagya are being sustained they too are being sustained with the imperishable jewels of knowledge through the mothers the majority is of mothers there are many brothers who sustain the sisters both exchange jewels of knowledge with one another and sustain one another brothers have spiritual love for sisters and sisters have spiritual love for brothers in this world people can even be one another's enemy they give vices to one another here you give the treasures of the imperishable jewels of knowledge you brahma kumars and kumaris are brothers and sisters your name is very great there must definitely be kumars and kumaris of prajapita brahma this has to be understood with your intellects there is praise of the mothers in the song there is the world mother saraswati and so there must definitely be children too that is there must be a family this too is something to be understood it is written prajapita brahma is called prajapita so there must surely have been people created through brahma at some time brahma is the father of the corporeal world it is remembered that the brahmin clan was created through prajapita brahma Brahmins are the original and eternal children. In fact, it is wrong to say the original eternal deity religion. This is the religion of the golden age. What is Baba saying? Baba is saying Brahmins are the original and eternal religion children. In fact, it is wrong to say the original eternal deity religion. That is the religion of the golden age. The original eternal religion which has now disappeared is that of the brahmins even before the deity religion there is the brahmin religion which is called the top knot 
this would be called the confluence aged original eternal brahmin religion this is such a good secret to be explained baba has explained that when anyone comes first of all give them the father's introduction this is the main thing there is no kingdom of brahmins it is written that the golden aged deity world sovereignty is your godfatherly birthright what is written it is written that the golden aged deity world sovereignty is your godfatherly birthright there is truly the deity religion but it has to be explained when and how they received this kingdom this is why it is necessary to keep the picture of the trimurti in front of them it is written on it the sovereignty of heaven is your birthright through whom that too must be written so what does baba tell us baba says that is why it is necessary to keep the picture of the trimurti in front of them and it is written on it the sovereignty of heaven is your birthright through whom that too has to be written baba says have this board made and then everyone should put it up outside their homes just as government officers have boards some keep badges that is medals with them each one of them has his own sign you too should have a sign baba gives you directions but it is the duty of you children to put them into practice so that there can be some fast service accomplished this is a very important thing doctors and barristers all have boards put up outside their homes you also should have a board put up come and understand how shiv baba gives the sovereignty of heaven through brahma people will be amazed when they see this they will then come inside to understand more you can even put them up outside your flats boards should be put up to indicate a person's business because children don't do anything service doesn't take place first there is an attack by maya there isn't the faith that you are going to baba you don't remember that part you don't remember that your part of 84 births has now come to an end and that you are to go to the new world of heaven having claimed your inheritance baba says you may perform actions but remember baba for whatever time you have available we are beating the drums saying that this is everyone's last birth we will then not take rebirth in the land of death you also know that the land of death is now to end we have to go to the land of nirvana our sweet home you should continue to talk to yourselves in this way this is called churning the ocean of knowledge the father says you are karma yogis do you not have as much wisdom as a tortoise it eats grass etc for its sustenance withdraws all its physical organs and then sits down quietly you children have to stay in remembrance of the father you have to spin the discus of self realization consider yourselves to be master seeds the seed has all the knowledge of the tree how it is created how it is sustained and how the drama of the cycle of 84 births turns this picture of the cycle has been created to show the cycle of 84 births so that people can have this knowledge of 84 births the father has explained that only you take 84 births those who belong to the original eternal deity religion that is those who become deities from brahmins are the ones who take 84 births you know the 84 births it is said the night of brahma and the day of brahma 84 births are included in that therefore you should make a board of the trimurti and write on it this is your godfatherly birthright if you want come and claim it if not now then never you have to make effort before the great mahabharat war takes place it is very easy to make this board you can put up a picture of the trimurti or shiva the name the supreme father 
the supreme soul Shiva is written there. He is the God of the Gita. In the Gita, there are only the things of Raj Yoga mentioned. This is why we write that the deity sovereignty is your godfatherly birthright. This is Shiv Baba and this is Prajapita Brahma. You receive your inheritance through this one. In heaven, you become kings and queens. You know what Rama, that is Shiva, gives and what Ravan gives. For half a cycle, it is the kingdom of Rama, that is God. And for the other half, it is the kingdom of Ravan. It isn't that the supreme soul causes sorrow. It is Ravan, the five vices that cause sorrow and makes you vicious. The golden age is Shivalaya. Children receive different explanations every day. Therefore, you should remain happy. You know that Shiv Baba is teaching you. It isn't that you have to remember the corporeal one. Shiv Baba is teaching you easy Raj Yoga through Brahma. Shiv Baba enters Prajapita Brahma. No one else can be called Prajapita Brahma. Brahmins too are definitely needed. The father comes and tells you the truth. It is remembered that the fortune of the kingdom is received in a second. What is remembered? It is remembered that the fortune of the kingdom is received in a second. Children say that they are the children of Shiv Baba. He is the creator of heaven. Therefore, he would surely give us the kingdom of heaven. What else would he give us? Baba is so wonderful. It is also remembered that Janak received liberation in life in a second. You know that you now belong to Shiv Baba. You definitely have to remember Shiv Baba because he has adopted you. You have to remember the one from whom you receive your inheritance and also remember your inheritance. When a child is adopted, he knows that he was previously a child of so and so and that now he is a child of so and so. His heart would move away from those parents and be connected to these parents. Here too, you say that you are Shiv Baba's adopted children. Therefore, what is the benefit in remembering those fathers? Baba says, the most beloved father is the one who gives you so much prosperity. The father makes effort to make you children worthy. You repeatedly forget such a father. All others cause you unhappiness and you still continue to remember them. And forget me, your father. You may live at home, but remember Baba. This requires effort because only then will your sins be absolved. This whole world is to become a graveyard. When you children belong to me, you become the masters of the world. You know that you now belong to Baba and so you will definitely become the masters of heaven. Let your mercury of happiness rise high. You also know that this is an old body. There has to be the suffering of karma. Baba and Mamma also continue to settle that in happiness. What is Baba saying? There has to be the suffering of karma. Baba and Mamma also continue to settle that in happiness. The happiness of the future 21 births is so great. This is an old shoe. If you continue to settle the suffering of your karma now, you will become free from it for 21 births. There is happiness when an illness leaves. When a calamity comes and then leaves, there is great happiness. You know that calamities of many births are now to come. You are going to Baba. This is called extracting points by churning the ocean of knowledge. Baba advises you how to talk to yourselves. We have completed the cycle of 84 births and are now going to Baba. We will then claim our inheritance from Baba. You also have visions. There are visible and invisible visions. What is Baba saying? There are visible and invisible visions. For instance, Mama didn't have any visions. Baba had visions of establishment and destruction. He had an accurate vision of the future, but he couldn't understand at first that he was to become Vishnu. He began to understand that later. 
I am now going from the vicious household religion to the viceless household religion and the same applies to you. You also become the same by studying what Baba teaches. You should raise. There is praise of Mamma in the song. You now know who is called the world mother. In fact, who are the mother and father? You have that incorporeal one in your intellects. The father is God, the father, and that is fine. He is incorporeal, but the mother cannot be incorporeal. The father is incorporeal and he will definitely give you the inheritance. Therefore, he has to come here so that he can give his own introduction. So, this one has to become the mother and father, meaning Brahma Baba. This one is therefore the senior mother. Dada, that is grandfather, is incorporeal. These are such wonderful things. No one can become the grandmother. Since this creation is mouth born, this Brahma is a male. The father says, This secret that I explained to you is so deep. It cannot sit in some people's intellects who the mother and father are. They believe Krishna to be that. This is the only difference. This is called the one mistake. There has to be some reason. What is the mistake for which Bharat becomes so unhappy? You now know who made you forget and the reason why you forgot. Truly, Maya, Ravan, turned you away. Just as Baba is Karan Karavanhar, Maya too is Karan Karavanhar. The father is Karan Karavanhar, the bestower of happiness, and Maya is Karan Karavanhar, the bestower of sorrow. She turns you away from the father. Now, the father himself says, O souls, constantly remember me, your father, you are my children. If you want to claim your inheritance, simply remember me. Your sins will be absolved. You are receiving these directions from the unlimited father through Brahma. Guru Brahma is very well known. Then they say that God is omnipresent or infinite. What do the others say? They then say that God is omnipresent or infinite. Previously, we too used to think that what they say is right. We now understand that it was Maya, Ravan that made us say that. On the one hand, they say that he is beyond name and form. And on the other, they say that he is omnipresent. These two ideas cannot exist at the same time. They simply accepted whatever their gurus told them. Maya makes you make mistakes and makes you fall and then Baba makes you free from making mistakes so that you can ascend. Baba enables you to make good effort and you then have to make your own fortune. You have to remember the father. This is easy. Baba says, Baba enables you to make good effort and you then have to make your own fortune. You have to remember the father. This is easy. When a Kumari becomes engaged, she clings to him. In the same way, you are now engaged to Shiv Baba. Therefore, you should cling to him. The father says, remember me. When you souls become pure, you will return home with me. I will sit you on my eyelids and take you back with me. What is Baba saying? I will seat you on my eyelids and take you back with me. Simply remember me and I guarantee that you will be liberated from your sins. How can you make effort without having an aim or objective? There is no question of blind faith here. This is Shiv Baba's college. He is the creator of heaven. He is teaching you for the land of immortality. This is the land of death. The land of death will end and then the golden age will definitely come. This cycle continues to turn. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Papdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children say Namaste to our spiritual father. Today's essence for dharana has two points. 
the first point withdraw all your physical organs like a tortoise and remember the father and your inheritance become a karma yogi talk to yourself second point exchange the jewels of knowledge among yourselves and sustain one another have spiritual love for everyone today's blessing may you be a constant yogi and make true spiritual endeavor by having a true relationship in your heart blessing once again may you be a constant yogi and make true spiritual endeavor by having a true relationship in your heart baba explains the blessing spiritual endeavor means to have powerful remembrance of the father and have a true relationship in the heart with him just as when you sit down to have yog you sit with concentration in the same way keep your heart mind and intellect sitting with the father this is true spiritual endeavor if there isn't much if there isn't such spiritual endeavor or sadhana there is prayer aradhana sometimes there is remembrance that is yaad and sometimes there are complaints faryad in fact there is no need for complaints in having remembrance those who have a relationship with the father in their heart become constant yogis today's slogan be a carefree emperor with the awareness the father is karavan har that is the one who is inspiring and continue to experience the flying stage slogan once again be a carefree emperor with the awareness the father is karavan har that is the one who is inspiring and continue to experience the flying stage acha om shanti